Okay, we're learning in Yaakov, Tractate Baba Bata. The title today is, They Will Shine Like Stars. It says, The wise will shine like the radiance of the firmament. Daniel 12, 3. Chapter 12, verse 3. This applies to a judge who has the wisdom to decide a case fairly and objectively. Fairly and objectively. And those who teach righteousness to the multitudes will shine like the stars forever and ever. These are the collectors of tzedakah. However, in a baita we learned, the wise will shine like the radiance of the firmament. This applies to a judge who has the wisdom to decide a case fairly and objectively. And those who teach the um, righteousness to the multitudes will shine like the stars forever and ever. Applies to the, to the teacher of young children. Like who, for example, said love, like Shmuel ben Shilas, for Rav once found of Shmuel ben Shilas in a garden. Have you left your post that you have held so faithfully? He replied, has been 13 years since I last saw my garden, and even now my thoughts are with my students. Imar asks, and what reward is in store for the rabbis of Inased, and may those that love him be like the sun rising in might. Then there was a question whether to investigate or not to investigate. Rabbi Una said, if a poor person asks for food, we investigate to see whether he's, he really needs it. Of course, this does not apply in a situation where it is obvious that he is starving. However, we do not investigate if a person comes with no clothing and says that he needs clothing. If you wish, I can derive this from um, Scripture. And if you prefer, I can show you that it is based on common sense. The common sense reason that we do not investigate a person who is asking for clothing is that he is being um, humiliated. He is standing there without clothing while his credibility is being scrutinized. But not the person who is asking for food. Or if you prefer to hear the Pasuk, it says, surely you should break prois your bread for the hungry isaiah 58 7 prois is written with the letter sin and we read we read it as if it had a shin prois or parois they and translate it if it is clear that he is hungry then give him from your bread from your bread but with regard to clothing, it says, when you see a naked person, clothe him immediately. Rabbi Uda, however, said the opposite. You have to investigate if a person asks for clothing, but you do not investigate if he asks for food. If you wish, I can base, base it on a verse, or if you prefer, on, a, on common sense. Common sense dictates that a person asking for food is suffering from hunger. A person who has no clothes is not suffering. If you prefer a verse... In regard to food, it says, Surely you should break your bread for the hungry. Break off right away. However, in regard to clothing, it says, When you see a naked person, clothe him. When you are convinced that he is in need of clothing, only when you are convinced. We learned in a baita. We learned a baita that agrees with our Yehuda. If a poor man says, he wants clothing, we investigate him. If he says he wants food, we do not investigate. Welcome to you.